Hello everybody, we're just in the process of setting up our Joey trolleys from Lock and Safe. So we're managing a deployment of around 200 Chromebooks. We're looking for something uh, nice and easy to set up and effective in terms of managing these. And I'm going to take you on a quick tour and show you some of the features. So first thing, um, most, of the op most of the versions of the Joey I've seen seem to come with these optional uh, baskets for the laptops. They're very handy. You can throw them on a desk and collect them up. Very quick and easy way to de deploy the Laptops, if you want, however, uh, there's also supplied racking, so fixed racking uh, for the units as well. Um, here's one that we're just in the process of setting up. So the way they work is you've got this metal shelf that comes out. Underneath it, you've got the charging strips. So they'll actually take 32 charge units here and there's an auxiliary power unit as well. So then you put all the air chargers in to the side. So I'll show you the mechanism for that now as well. So the side has these units here where you've got Velcro straps that you undo and you feed up the AC adapters through these and then there's just a thumb screw holding them on so it's very quick because of the thumb screw process and they end up looking like this. So you'll see the cables come and you can, you can pull them a bit tighter or a bit looser depending on how you need them. So accessory wise then um, they actually supply very nice padlock and the necessary power cables. So you'll see, you get your padlock cables. There's the racking units if you want. The baskets come also supplied in the box as well. And uh, one of the neat features you also get is a remote control because there's a number of power options. So you'll see there's also um, a power control down here. So you can cycle the timer for an hour or three hours and it'll cycle through all four of the charge banks so that the laptops aren't just left plugged in all the time. And um, so you can give them three hours of charge in a cycle, very useful. And especially if you have a socket that might be not able to take a, a huge load, although generally even 30 Chromebooks won't take a whole lot. So very good industrial build on it, very solid unit. You see you've got brakes on two of the wheels of the four, so you can break the unit. And then the, this is the top doors. Oops, did them in the wrong order. So you lock it like that, and it's a standard padlock. So if you ever should lose the keys, you can always just bolt cut it. There's a, there's a little uh, piece here as well to wrap the charge cable around. And as you can see, they're quite low, very solid, and very handy to move around the school. Just a point that's important to note is check the width of your Chromebooks, because we have these older Chromebooks with rubber feet. And what you find is that if you try and put these in the baskets or in the dividers because they're the same width, you get two of them in, but that's about it. Because they're pushing the, the dividers over, you'll see you're putting them under stress and potentially going to break them. The actual dividers that come with the trolleys are the same width, so you'll have the same issue there. But luckily for us, we had these wooden dividers that the woodwork teachers kindly made when we had the laptop stored in um, lockers. So one of the uh, things, the flexible design of the Joey, I was able to just transfer the wooden dividers in there and use the same setup with these Chromebooks.